Hello traders, welcome to a new technical analysis tool that one can use to determine a trend and trade that trend. I've never talked about it before, but today we're talking about linear regression. Now, linear, linear regression is an indicator that plots itself over price action, and it's a function of price and time, and it tells you the direction of price. You can see it predicted a downtrend, you know, uh, back here. Now we're really, we really are getting that downtrend, and it predicts how far that the um, move will likely continue, you know, down or up. Now what this uses is two standard deviations, as you can see here, deviations. And, okay, this, this market's really, really dropping. Two standard deviations is going to be a 95% fit of price. Now if you're aware of standard deviation and percent fit, well, what you would know is that one standard deviation shows 68% of data in range, and two standard deviations shows 95% of data in range. Now what we can do with linear regression is a few things. First is that it's very helpful for determining the trend. So if I hit the five minute, you can see that it found that we were in a slight downtrend, right? If I hit the one hour, you can see that we were actually in a slight uptrend. And if I go on a you know really, really, really small time frame like something like the uh, 15 second, you know, it's probably not gonna be able to plot this one as well, but uh, let's see five second. Yeah, you can see that slope right there is, wow. And it's going to provide you which way price is moving, which way price is trending. This is a pretty simple indicator to use for determining trend direction, but I found that it actually can be very, very helpful in determining the trend. For example, a few ways that you can trade this is, a common strategy is if you have a downward linear regression channel, what you can do is if ever price goes up to the upside, so you know anywhere around these values here, then you can think about selling. Because the idea of linear regression is that price is going to fit right back into um, the, the curve. If it lets me go back in time and use linear regression, let's see if it does. Oh, perfect. And you can see that here we have an upward, we have an upward linear regression. So if ever price goes down, below that channel, then we would know it might not be a terrible time to buy, such as right there. And if you had bought there, you know, price does go up from here to here, so that would have been nice, and then we turn into a downward linear regression channel, as you can see here. And this is going to be fluctuating a lot over time, because I'm on the one minute, but typically the linear regression won't be fluctuating as much, of course, if you go on those higher time frames, such as the one hour, which shows us we are in a slight uptrend meaning that any touch of these bottom levels, like it had happened here uh, below that, this could have been an opportunity to buy. So that's one way that you can trade linear regression. You can look for a touch, you know, in the downward channel, look to touch the upside to short or to sell. Another way you can look at it is you can look to um, buy the bottom, sell the top. So one way you could do that is if you believe that the channel will hold, whether it's upward, downward, or, or sideways, or I mean consolidating, if you think if you see that the price goes down to touch the bottom part of the channel, you could buy. You could think about then selling at the upper part of the channel. You know, price goes up to the upper channel. You could think about selling then the lower part of the channel. And the overall theory of why this works, of why we want to fade the meaning trade against when price leaves the uh, linear regression channel slightly, is that we expect price to go fit right back into its channel. However, I do have to say there are some limitations that I do need to bring up for the linear regression indicator. One is that during any very strong trend, you might not see price go back up to its previous linear regression line. What I found linear regression most helpful with is moderate strength to weaker strength, just consolidation market patterns tend to work pretty well. So if I look at something like you know this structure right here, and I want to apply linear regression, you can see it does it quite well. And then when this is flat, you could think about, you know, selling a top or buying a bottom. So just that. So really there are a lot of ways you can use this indicator of linear regression. It is currently free, and I think that there are a lot of other things on TradingView as well that you can do with linear regression. A lot of other, you know, as you can see, linear regression bands. So instead of just having this, you can see actual linear regression bands onto price. So something like that. You know, that can be something you can use as well. You can also potentially use linear regression for stop losses if you want to place around stop loss. You know, how you use this is up to you. If you want to use it for trend direction, looking for the slope of 
the linear regression, you can. If you want to use this for, for bounces, you can. And finally, if you want to use this for uh, fading against the again, fading with the channel. So if this is a downward sloping linear regression, when price ever goes beyond that channel, you expect it to go right back in. So you could sell, you know, here. Unless the overall shape of the linear regression changes, yeah. of course, then you might not want to do that. So this has just been a five, six minute video on just a super simple indicator. And I want to make more videos like this, just presenting a very simple indicator like linear regression, just showing a few facets of how it can be helpful, presenting it to you guys. And then potentially if we have more questions on it, that we can go into more advanced analysis of really how to use this indicator. Um, but this time I wanted to try something a bit different. Instead of trying to get into calculation and methodology and everything, just present the strategy, present the indicator itself. Go try it out for yourself. It's completely free and plenty of derivatives are there on TradingView. Uh, if you want a part two from me, you can leave a comment in the section below or you can go to my Patreon and request it there. With that, happy trading and start linear regressing.